Hi everyone, in today's video I'm here to talk about this lovely fragrance from the brand Santa Maria Novella, uh, as known as uh, Officina Profumo. Uh, and this fragrance especially, it's amazing and one of the best ones I just bought my last vacations in Italy. So that's why I decided to talk about it and I hope you enjoy it. So if you want to know a little bit more about this topic, check it out! So, just to start my video, if you're not yet subscribed, click here below, if you're already subscribed, click in the bell to receive notifications about new videos, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow there at Okayomeka. So, in today's video, I will talk about this lovely fragrance called Città di Kyoto by this brand Santa Maria Novella or Ovecina Profumo, they are like part of the same brand. It's a really complex fragrance, I already spoke about it before. Um, especially in the video of new perfumes in collection um, and I decided to record this video. Um, I don't want to specify about notes or about things very specifically, but I want to give you like more like the general idea about the perfume. So starting with the concept, when I um, think about this perfume, when I read like about the fragrance itself, um, basically, as I said, it's called Città di Kyoto, which is basically this fusion between Kyoto and uh, Italy. Uh, and this perfume was um, built kind of to celebrate the fourth uh, anniversary of the friendship bet between Kyoto and Firenze. So it's really nice. The concept itself is like this mix of Italian and Japan. And I think this concept is reflected in the fragrance itself. So, generally speaking, it's really this, like, it's really like this, this Italian vibe together with the Japanese vibe, so it's lovely, it's really, really outstanding. Talking about the bottle itself, so, usually they are pretty the same, uh, they, they follow these niche perfumery standards. Uh, mine came with another bottle, like another cap actually, and I just had this one because this one is like a spray and the other one uh, is just to, to cover it and then you can wear like this, like touching and putting, uh, putting the perfume on your skin. But this one is better because you can spray it. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty simple and standard um, uh, packaging, I would say. It's typical of niche perfumery and there is the sign here in the bottle. So pretty simple, but, but very elegant. So I really like it. Talking about the fragrance, wow. This fragrance is so complex. Um, as I said, basically, this is like a mix between Japan and Italy. So there are notes like um, iris, for example, which is super powdery. And this for me is like Europe. And there are like notes, fruit, fruity notes or floral notes, which is more like Japan for me. Um, it's really, really complex, the evolution. So there are like floor, uh, there are like flowers in, in between, like a jasmine, and the bottle is like woody, so it's so, so different, like it changes a lot on your skin. So it's even, it's even hard, I would say, to, to talk about it, to describe, because it evolves in so many ways and according to different skins, it can, it can change as well. So it's really complex, but overall, I would say that this is like, this iris and powdery fragrance together with the floral and together with the fruit. It's not fresh, it's, it's more like an intense fragrance, this kind of elegant fragrance. It's not the summer one, I would say. It's more like autumn or kind of winter fragrance, but it's really, really good one. Even though this is like a, a feminine fragrance, I decided to buy because of the concept, because of the fragrance, it's amazing. About the long lasting and the sealage, I think overall this, uh, this fragrance has a strong long lasting. Um, and, uh, and because we're talking about the powdery fragrance, it is indeed, um, like a strong fragrance in terms of silage. So I think it's it's not like a bomb fragrance, but it's a strong one. Talking quickly about the age group for this fragrance, I don't think it fits for young people. It's more like 30 plus because 
this fragrance is really chic and elegant. You, uh, I, I think I recommend this one for like a, a, a different event. If you're going to like a fashion week or something like that, it's like this kind of event. It's not like a daily fragrance at all. So 30 plus, it's like the perfect match here. And talking about the price, I paid 120 euros in the store in Firenze, in Italy, uh, when I went there in my vacations. So yeah, is it expensive indeed? But if you think about other design fragrances like Chanel or Chloe, usually they have the same price. Um, but yeah, for a niche perfume, a different one, this is definitely worth it. And that's it. Overall, I think this is so different. It's really, really, really good one, uh, especially because of the iris note here. So I think it really makes a difference. Um, and just because we're talking about this fragrance with Italy and Japan together, bringing up both cultures uh, and giving you this experience. I think this is a, an amazing perfume and you should have this in your collection. I am totally in love by the, the fragrance. I bought a discovery set and I want to, you know, explore it more and decide my next one for sure. That's it. I think overall this is like a really good fragrance. Uh, but yeah, I would like to, to hear about you. Do you know this fragrance? Do you know the brand? Put here in the comments and let's discuss about it. That's it. If you like my video, click here to help me uh, clicking the like and you help me for my next videos. And yeah, my video ends here. See you in my next video. Bye bye.